Okay. Now kind of getting to the end. So in a few more terms that I see upside capture, downside capture, is that pretty self-explanatory? Is that basically on a good year for the markets? Well, how, how much of the upside is captured by the funds and then vice versa, kind of how much of the downside these funds tend to, to replicate? Am I understanding that correctly? So it is, but it's the opposite in terms of upside capture, you're a hundred percent, right? So if I said a fund has an upside capture of 90%, that generally means again, that a fund is going to capture 90% of the market's upside. Now, if I say that the fund has a 90% downside capture, it also means that the fund is going to capture 90% of the, uh, the, the market's downside. So what you're looking for with alternatives is a negative downside capture number. So when you see things like minus 10, that's amazing because they're making money in a bad market. Okay, gotcha. Last thing about the fact sheets is the sharp ratio. Like what do we need to know about the sharp ratio? It is actually going back to one of your earlier questions. It is a check box that we will use on a smaller scale. In fact, the sharp ratio is the generally accepted one uh, or, or, or value that is placed on these fact sheets. We like that one, but we also like more what's called the Sortino ratio. And I'll explain briefly why. The sharp ratio, the sharp ratio measures volatility in, in a fund. So the problem with, or one of the downsides of sharp ratio is that it measures volatility on the upside and the downside. So if a fund has a, a really good sharp ratio, that also means though that it, it, it can actually have too much volatility in either direction. So why we actually always ask for and like the Sortino ratio, which I know is a little bit of a technical jargon term, but it helps your listeners understand that the Sortino ratio is the most important sort of fancy technical term is because the Sortino ratio specifically captures the downside of the fund. It eliminates the upside and just shows you how well the fund performs in down periods. And again, as you can tell through this conversation, that's the one that's more important to us. Yeah, absolutely. So Jeremy, those are my questions, but I wanna give you a chance to cover anything we may have missed or anything else that you wanna share. Uh, I would say, you know, in general, again, just going back to a, a big picture theme, uh, you know, there, there are a lot of people out there starting to talk about alternatives, but I would say on the whole, it is still a very, very underutilized, underappreciated uh, asset class that I still am somewhat surprised to see completely void of in most people's portfolios. Um, you know, a lot of equities, a lot of fixed income and cash. But I think that since the uh, financial sector has done a really good job of opening up these doors to the public uh, and giving them the opportunity, I really do hope that on the whole, in terms of the, the idea of just helping people and making their financial lives better, that I hope to see a lot more uh, advisors and investors using these uh, in their in their structure, just to sort of, you know, whatever can help the general public is going to be a good thing for all of us. And more of these in, 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 in terms of an understanding of an allocation relative to what people consider the smart money out there would be a really nice thing to see. I'd like to see more people using more of them on a day to day to day basis. Jeremy, I want to thank you for taking the time to, to join me. You know, I've, I've really enjoyed our conversations, uh, kind of off, off the record, been learning a lot. We'll continue to talk finance, just not at any playoff games together. But uh, yeah, but uh, no, hopefully we can watch a game together. And, uh, you know, if, I, if I'm just talking your ear off, you got to let me know. I'll let you focus on the court as well. But thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Maybe we'll go to a preseason game, <laughs> but I, I do, I do appreciate it. And something that you've always mentioned to me as, as we've chatted is, you know, you can, if there's one thing you can tell is I'm very passionate about this space. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to help people and there's a lot of good strategies out there. This is one of them. And I just would like more people to, to, to open their minds up to it. And I really appreciate podcasts like yours that give people an open forum to hear about, you know, educating themselves and bettering their situations. Hey, th thanks so much for that, Jeremy. I appreciate that and take care.